Jazz Post Malone. It's called Circles on Y105. It's 8.04. We're going to be sunny today with a high around 49. In the studio, well, actually outside the studio, it's a sunny and 29. Inside the studio, it's sunny with uh, Melanie Devaney, who's here joining us uh, for Wake Up Unplugged this morning, a, a segment we haven't done in quite some time. But I mentioned to Bruce earlier, Melanie, that uh, I said we did, used to do this a lot, and then we were just having trouble getting artists, and you and I connected, and it just didn't work out way back when. So I'm so appreciative you're here now. How are you? I'm doing great. I actually heard you talking about that and how musicians are hard to get a hold of because they don't get up early. Um, <laughs> and I laughed because I, I am up early a lot, but uh, my – a friend and I joke about like musician. We call it like rolling hot. Like if you're <laughs> you've been up all night, and yeah. then you're just like, I'm just keep going. Yeah, so for you... me, it's coffee. But you know, I'm I'm here, and I'm happy to be here. Well, the inspiration comes to artists at all different times of the day, and everyone works different. So uh, I'm appreciative that you came this morning. Uh, before we talk about your music, I guess we should just talk a little bit about you. Uh, are you from the tri states originally? Yes, um, I grew up in Epworth, so just west of here. Um, I went to school actually to college here in Dubuque, and then I. I ran away um, and uh, lived in many different parts of the United States. I was in Florida for a little while, Arizona, uh, Nashville, Los Angeles, and then I moved back in 2015. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it's always interesting to me. Like some artists just, they're born and raised and stay in one spot their whole lives, and uh, other people get life experience by moving around the country like that. Yeah, so. I've got a little bit of gypsy blood, I think. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> where did music start for you? Well, um, so I grew up playing piano. I, I was a music major briefly uh, in college. Ended up graduating with a degree in creative writing and English literature. Um, and then as happens in life, I fell in love and I moved to Florida to be with the <laughs> man I loved. And we broke up and uh, I was I couldn't afford therapy. I needed therapy. <laughs> and so I just started writing songs um, after that breakup. And uh, the rest is history, I, I guess. I think that's become known as the uh, the Taylor Swift method, hasn't it? Yes, yes, yeah, so, exactly. Uh, get your heart broke and then write a song about it. Exactly. But, uh, so you uh, do uh, shows all over the tri-states, and you uh, have also recorded some original music. I assume that, uh, as most local musicians do, you also do some cover music as well. I do, I do. Um, obviously, as a writer, I love showcasing my own music, but um, I do. I when I do covers, I do such a wide variety because I really believe in making the songs your own. Um, so I do, you know, like a little bit of everything. Like Carol King is a huge influence. I love Adele. So I mean, you can see that that's a huge gap of like time span. You know, yeah. like Carol King's like early seventies. Adele is now. Um, so it, it really runs. I I do some standards, like some jazz standards. I throw oh, wow. that in too. Starting yeah, to more of that stuff. Yeah, both great singer songwriters. So yeah, great inspirations for sure. But mm -hmm. uh, if you were to say that you model yourself after anyone, do you feel like you have a, a most uh, like a biggest inspiration? Like who's who's that person? <laughs> well, it just depends if you're talking musically or just uh, stylistically. I love Mick Jagger for some reason. This year oh, has yeah. been like my spirit animal. Um, as far as writers go, I love Ed Sheeran. I think he's just incredibly. Maybe be the and, best and, yeah he's right? yeah. amazing and it's so hard to say because I, I grew up listening to so many different types of music and I'm always on the hunt for I wouldn't say obscure but I tend to listen to things that um, not everybody or people you know artists that not everybody knows like I love there's a young artist named Leon Bridges who's kind of a throwback to R&B mm -hmm. I'm really into this neo soul thing that's happening right now so it's it's all over the place, honestly. And I just kind of pick through like, oh, that's really interesting. That's really interesting. And then, you know, you kind of um, assimilate and di diffuse that, if you will, like into your own your own thing. Excellent. Well, we're going to actually share uh, your latest single called A Day in the Light in a little bit. Yes. So we'll share that with our listeners. And then you've also uh, brought a guitar to maybe perform a song for us this morning as well. So uh, glad to have you in the studio. If you don't mind, hang out. And Absolutely. We'll chit-chat a little bit more. Uh, Melanie Devaney, our guest. It's Wake Up Unplugged. And I'll just let our listeners know if they want to learn more about you, they can visit your website, which is Melanie devaney.com and i assume uh, you're also all over social media yes um facebook and instagram are my main my main focuses and uh, you... no twitter because i can't keep it, i can't keep it that short yeah i you know, get it well you're, talk a, a lot. you're a writing major so why would you but uh, <laughs> exactly. also uh, your music on spotify streaming services amazon people can find you most definitely excellent well we're going to share some of that music in a few moments more with melanie devaney it's a wake up unplugged this morning and uh, stay close you're going to hear her song a day in the light Coming up in just a few minutes. Again, MelanieDevaney.com and 
More Wake Up Unplugged straight ahead at Y105. That's Khalid's talk on Y105. It's 811. That's what we're doing this morning, talking with local artist Melanie Devaney. Uh, she is in for Wake Up Unplugged. Uh, also, her website, MelanieDevaney.com. And one time, I'm going to spell it for my listeners just so they have it. M-E-L-A-N-I-E and then D-E-V-A-N-E-Y.com. That's right. All right, so make sure you look her up and to check out her music. But we're going to share a song in a few moments here, A Day in the Light. Uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your process for songwriting. So <laughs> when it comes to writing, songs come from anywhere, or uh, how does it work for you? They do sort of come from anywhere. Um, I think driving, I, one of the reasons I've traveled so much is because I think that's part of my songwriting process is, yeah. um, you know, just moving and getting ideas uh, seems for me to go hand in hand. I do, um, when I first started writing, a lot of things were, like I said, very uh, personal and very therapeutic. And, you know, it was just like, I got to get this off my chest. Now, um, having lived in places like Los Angeles and Nashville and really trying to write from a more commercial perspective, I am paying more attention, I guess, to uh with, like the structure of a song and having something that's really hook hook oriented, you know, like an idea that's just like, oh, wow, why didn't I think of that? You know, like a, kind of witty or kind of lyrical. A lot of people will ask, like, what comes first, the the music, the tune, you know, the melody or the, the lyrics? And honestly, for me, it, it goes back and forth. Mm. So I do being a piano player as well as a guitar player. I kind of just play around a lot with my instrument. Um instruments so I'll just sometimes just sit down at the piano and I've been able to do this since I was really little and just start just making up songs so sometimes I'll just come up with a melody out of that or the same thing you know there's an interesting chord progression that I come up with on the guitar and that becomes the foundation where later I'm like oh I had this these words that I was working on and I'll I'll mend or meld those together um, but sometimes it's just like I don't know. I'll just sit down and words and music just come out at the same time. So I don't really have a process. <laughs> uh, that's an okay answer. But uh, yeah, it's, it's different for everyone, you mm -hmm. know. So, uh, But let's talk a little bit about the original music and uh, your latest song, which you've just released called A Day in the Light. Where did the inspiration for this song come from? <laughs> so um, I mentioned waking up early compared to a lot of musicians. I literally, I had just gotten back from a trip to Nashville and uh, I was laying in bed one morning and you know that light, if you're up early enough, there's this really beautiful sort of, I call it like a cherry colored light that you get at the first, uh, like the quote crack of dawn and it, it was coming in through the window and I was just thinking about how a new day is the opportunity um, to start again. And honestly, you know, if you wake up, if you wake up, first of all, but if you can open your eyes, if you can take a deep breath, and you can tell the people that you love that you love them, like, that's a good day. Sure. And so I was just thinking about that. And I was thinking about the opportunity to start over and just kind of let go of the past, whatever that is for you. Well, we're going to let our listeners take a listen to the song, and then we'll talk more about it. Great. Uh, this is Melanie Devaney, and it's the latest from her. It's called A Day in the Light. Check it out right here. It's Wake Up Unplugged at Y105.
There you have it. A day in the light. Melanie Devaney. It's Wake Up Unplugged on Y105. It's a great tune. Thank you so much. So, it was great to hear it on the, like, on the radio. It's like, whoo. That's so awesome. from beginning to end, uh, like the writing process to uh, fully record, how long did that process take? Um, let's see. I wrote the song, I think, in 20, 2018, like in May of 2018. Performed it out somewhat. Um, and then uh, I actually was going to a writing uh it's a long story, but I was on my way to a writing conference and I needed some music to pitch to uh, publishers and people in film and television. And so I was in L.A. working on an album that I've been at work on for a long time. And I asked my producer, I'm like, hey, can we can we get a recording of this? Can we get this, you know, so that I can pitch this to some of these people? Um, and it ended up turning out great. So I was like, you know what? I really just want to get this out there. Did you record the uh, multiple instruments for the recording or? Um, Did you have other musicians? That was other musicians. Oh, that, cool. So I, the piano part is me, um, and uh, I think that's it. So that's <laughs> yeah, cool. obviously my vocals, um, and yeah, so I'm really happy. I work with a great producer out in Los Angeles um, named Ted Wolfers, and he he does most of the instruments, which is awesome. You know, you go in and he's like, oh, I'll play the bass, I'll play the guitar, I'll play the, you know, he's like the accordion, like he does everything. It's that's amazing. awesome. Well, uh, you uh, have that song available. As I mentioned, people can learn more on your website, MelanieDevaney.com. Go to Spotify, uh, streaming services, Amazon, and uh, and learn more about it. But uh, I, I want to just quick point out that uh, Sunday, November 3rd, you will be appearing at Stone Cliff. That is correct. And then on Saturday, November 16th, you're doing a special show, too, at the Bell Tower Theater. Yes. What, what's that show about? So I, um, as I mentioned, I really love shows where I can play my originals. I love I love telling the stories behind the songs because, you know, traveling for so many years and okay, I've I've slept in my car and I've been in, you know, dark alleys at three o'clock in the morning. Like I have some great stories to tell and I love being able to really connect with my audiences through those stories and um you know, being able to get them to do like sing along to certain things. And yeah. so so I really wanted to do a show like that. Um so that's why we're doing the Bell Tower Theater Show. I'll have uh, Jeremy Jones on the bass with me. He's a local bass player. Uh, Richard Shaluli on the box drum. That's kind of putting a trio together. Um, we're doing a VIP package, which I've never done before. But what's really what's <laughs> really cool about it is that I'm a lot of people know my music, um, so they get the chance to actually create, help me create the set list. So if you do the VIP package, you get to like do a song request, oh, um, preferably ahead of time, so I can rehearse it just in case it's something in the yeah you know, something I wrote. Like ten years ago, I'm like I don't remember that song. I want to make sure it's you know that I can fulfill those requests. So. And how do people uh, learn more about that or get involved with it? They can go to the Bell Tower Theater website um, and all the ticket information. All of the Bell Tower is handling all of that. But obviously, if somebody has a question, they can get a hold of me through my website. Yeah. So BellTowerTheater.net if you want to learn more about that performance. So yes. if you don't mind, I'm going to have you hang out, and I think maybe you'll do one live for us in the studio here this morning before we go. Love that. Awesome. Well, Melanie Devaney, our guest again. It's Wake Up and Plug. If you want to learn more about Melanie. Uh, MelanieDevaney.com and we'll come back with more on Y105. Come join Y105. Today's hit music is Chris Farber, 828. In a few minutes we'll do our music minute with Adam's Dance Connection. This morning though, uh, we brought it back. Wake Up Unplugged and Melanie Devaney has been our guest. It's been uh, such a pleasure having you in studio today. Thank you for having me. This was a blast. I loved it. So uh, again, you can check out our music at our website, uh, MelanieDevaney.com Go to Spotify, any of the streaming platforms. Check out our new single, A Day in the Light. And remember, she's performing Sunday, November 3rd at Stonecliff. And then Saturday, November 16th at the Bell Tower Theater. But it's been great getting to know you and your music. And you're going to perform uh, one more song for us today. Yes, the song is called Take This Trip. Take This Trip. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Melanie Devaney. Been so long since I saw your face. Your door. If you read it, baby, 
just seem to fight About the miles I'm driving Even now in the dead of night The thought of you's got me wild and All the words can't say what I want you to feel So baby won't you let me come back home There's a note I wrote on the side of the road Says I still love you to your door If you read it, baby Won't you come and save me from this highway Cause I don't wanna take this trip no more Every time I stop to go You know it's breaking my puff To your arms There's a note I put on the side of the road Says I still love you I was hoping the winds might blow it to your door If you read it, baby, won't you come and save me from this highway Trip no more Take this trip no more Take this trip. Very cool. Thank you so much for performing for us today. Well, thanks for having me, Chris. Absolutely. We'll learn more again. MelanieDevaney.com. Don't miss your uh, Sunday, November 3rd, Stone Cliff, and Saturday, November 16th, Bell Tower Theater. And you can learn more about that show at BellTowerTheater.net. So uh, it's been a pleasure. And uh, sometime down the road, hopefully we can have you circle back and stop in again. I would love that. All right. Excellent. Well, again, Melanie Devaney, and that was Wake Up Unplugged. We got our Music Minute with Adam's Dance Connection right after 9.